We've all seen it in our lives, right? Some people just look like they never grow up. Or maybe you've noticed in yourself that there are parts of you that haven't grown up yet, if you're introspective enough. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to get stuck in rigid thinking, unable to see the complexity of life? Or why others struggle with basic problem solving, constantly relying on others to tell them what to do? These are signs of people who haven't fully grown up in terms of cognitive development. What do characters like Tony Stark from Iron Man and the MCU Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, Saitama from One Punch Man, and Walter White from Breaking Bad have in common. They are characters that at some point in the story were showing characteristics of an adult who had not fully integrated stages from Piaget's theory of cognitive development. And in this video, we will go over those examples. Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development helps us understand why some people remain stuck at certain stages of mental growth. Piaget believed our ability to think, reason, and make sense of the world develops in stages, from simple actions in childhood to complex, abstract reasoning in adulthood. But here's the key, not everyone fully integrates these stages and the consequences can be profound. These gaps in cognitive development can affect how we relate to others, how we solve problems, and even how we understand our place in the world. For example, think of a person who clings to rigid rules, like an employee who refuses to adapt to new work procedures despite the need for creativity during a major change, such as the shift to remote work. So think about a stubborn CEO that doesn't want his workers to work remotely despite a situation like what happened in 2020 where work could have continued and even work efficiently while employees can work remotely. This inability to think flexibly can lead to frustration, missed opportunities, and conflict. Or consider someone who constantly overthinks every decision, like endlessly debating whether to take a job offer. Their fear of the unknown paralyzes them, preventing them from making a move and missing out on opportunities for growth. This lack of confidence in decision making is a clear sign of cognitive development being stalled. In pop culture, we can see this pattern in Ron Burgundy from Anchorman. When the world of journalism evolves with new voices and new storytelling methods, Ron's refusal to adapt to these changes causes him to make mistake after mistake. His inability to develop cognitively along with the times damages his career and alienates his colleagues. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand Piaget's stages of cognitive development, but also gain insight into why some people never seem to grow up mentally and how you can avoid these pitfalls to continue your own growth. So let's dive into Piaget's theory and see how your mind can evolve to reach its fullest potential. This video is the first in a series of videos that will explain the bigger picture of human consciousness and the lines of human development as proposed by theorist and author Ken Wilber with his integral theory. Ken Wilber's integral theory provides a comprehensive framework for understanding the complexity of human growth. It integrates various lines of development, each one representing a distinct area of human evolution. These lines from cognitive and moral growth and spirituality shape how we experience and interact with the world. Wilbur's approach emphasizes that these lines of development are interwoven and evolve simultaneously, influencing one another as we move through different stages of life. The first of these lines is the cognitive line, which focuses on how we think and process information. As we develop cognitively, we move from simple patterns of understanding to more complex abstract reasoning. The work of theorists like Piaget and Keegan shows how cognitive structures evolve through different stages, each one building on the last, leading to a more sophisticated way of thinking and problem solving. In this series, we'll dive deep into these lines of development, from cognitive and moral growth to emotional intelligence and spirituality based on the insights of researchers like Piaget, Kohlberg, Maslow, and more. Each video will uncover how these areas of growth influence your personal evolution and what can happen if these stages are not fully developed or integrated. Some adults may still display behaviors of thinking patterns that suggest they're stuck in earlier stages of cognitive development. While Piaget's theory primarily focuses on childhood and adolescence, it can shed light on why certain individuals fail to fully integrate these stages as adults. Factors like trauma, environmental pressures, or simply not having the opportunity to develop these cognitive skills can leave people trapped in a way of thinking that doesn't keep up with their real world needs. Again, in this video, we're diving into Piaget's cognitive development theory. 
explore what happens when these stages aren't fully integrated and discuss how this can impact your life, whether it's relationships, career, or personal growth. I will also provide examples from pop culture to help drive home the message. Let's start with Piaget's first stage, the sensory motor stage, which typically happens from birth to age two. At this stage, children learn by interacting with the world around them through sensory input and physical movement. They live in the moment reacting impulsively without much thought to past experiences or future consequences. Now imagine an adult who acts impulsively, driven by the needs for immediate gratification. Now let me know if that sounds familiar. Take someone struggling with unhealthy spending habits, for example, a shopaholic if you will. Maybe they blow their paycheck on luxury items because it feels good in the moment without considering the long-term financial impact. In relationships, this shows up as someone who reacts emotionally in conflict, blurting out harsh words without pausing to think about how it will affect their partner in the future. This kind of reactive behavior reflects a lack of integration of the sensory motor stages more thoughtful, reflective aspects. An example of this would be Tony Stark in the beginning of Iron Man and even in some parts of Iron Man 2 and The Avengers. In the early Iron Man movies, Tony Stark is portrayed as a genius inventor and billionaire playboy who is often impulsive and reckless. One of his most striking behaviors is his tendency to make quick, rash decisions without considering the long-term consequences. For example, in the first Iron Man movie, Tony Stark, before he was captured by terrorists, just sold his weapons out to people, not thinking about the consequences about how innocent people could get hurt by these weapons, especially if fallen under the wrong hands. So his initial focus was on immediate gratification, enriching himself further. After he gets captured, though his immediate response is to use his skills to build a powerful suit of armor to escape, which was based on survival and immediate action, this this also then led him to reflect on how his weapons may be used by others or the global implications of his company's armament business. Throughout his journey, Tony grows by learning from the consequences of his impulsive behavior. After escaping captivity, he has an awakening moment when he sees firsthand the destruction his weapons have caused in the hands of others. He begins to reflect on his past actions and how his creations were used for harm rather than the good he intended. The moment marks the beginning of his shift from impulsivity to a more thoughtful, reflective approach to life. In the sequels, Iron Man 2 and The Avengers, we see Tony confronting the reality of his choices, seeking to fix the mistakes he made, and working to protect others rather than acting out of self-interest or ego. He starts thinking about the broader implications of his inventions, not just for himself, but for the entire world. This shift from reactive, impulsive behavior to proactive, reflective thinking is an example of his growth beyond the sensory motor stage of cognitive development. His arc highlights how even highly capable adults can struggle with impulsivity but can mature through self-reflection and responsibility. Now let's move on to Piaget's second stage, the pre-operational stage, which occurs between ages two and seven. At this stage, children develop their ability to think symbolically, but they still struggle with logical reasoning. They tend to see the world from their own perspective and often believe that everyone shares their point of view. This is called egocentrism. They all engage in magical thinking where they may believe that their thoughts or actions can directly influence the world around them, even in unrealistic ways. As adults, we might see signs of this stage not fully integrated when someone is overly self-centered, thinking that everyone should share their opinions or behave exactly as they do. For example, imagine a coworker who assumes that everyone should work the way that they do, dismissing any alternative approaches without trying to understand why others might do things differently. Or think of somebody who believes that everybody should share the same political opinion as them. They may think that their perspective is the only valid one, showing a lack of empathy for others. In pop culture, a great example of egocentrism and magical thinking can be seen in The Wizard of Oz. Dorothy, the young protagonist, starts out with a very limited view of the world. She believes that everyone in her life should see things the same way that she does, and that everything should be about her. When she lands in the land of Oz, she expects everything to bend to her desires, even though she doesn't fully understand the complexity of the world around her. Over time, through her adventures, Dorothy learns that the world is much bigger than her own experiences, and she begins to see things from the perspective of others. This shift marks her movement away from egocentric thinking toward a more empathetic and logical way of understanding the world. For adults like Tony Stark in the earlier example, the transition from the pre-operational stage involves 
lives, learning to move beyond egocentrism and magical thinking by developing empathy and a more complex understanding of reality. Next, we move to Piaget's third stage, the concrete operational stage, which typically occurs between ages 7 and 11. At this stage, children develop the ability to think logically about concrete, tangible problems. However, their thinking is still limited to what is directly observable and measurable. They can reason logically, but struggle when it comes to abstract concepts like morality, philosophy, or hypothetical scenarios. They prefer facts over ideas and tend to favor black and white thinking, avoiding ambiguity and complexity. In adulthood, signs of this stage may appear when someone's thinking becomes overly rigid, focusing only on what can be immediately seen or measured. For example, an adult who dismisses emotional or creative expressions because they don't seem practical or don't produce immediate, tangible results might show traits of concrete operational thinking. They might have difficulty appreciating the value of art, literature, or philosophical debates because these concepts can't be easily quantified or physically measured. An excellent example from anime is the character of Saitama from One Punch Man. Despite being an overpowered hero, Saitama's understanding of life and people is quite concrete. He sees the world around him in a very literal way, dismissing emotional or philosophical conversations that don't have direct, tangible outcomes. For instance, his indifferent attitude toward relationships or the deeper meaning of his superhero status reflects this concrete mindset. He avoids getting bogged down by the complexity of human emotions or the morality of his actions. Over time, however, he starts to grow by recognizing that although things may seem simple on the surface, there is more to life than just physical strength and immediate action. This marks a subtle shift as he begins to consider the more abstract aspects of his existence, showing how one can move beyond the concrete operational mindset to embrace complexity. For adults, moving beyond the concrete operational stage means learning to embrace ambiguity and complexity, understanding that not everything in life can be neatly categorized or measured, especially when it comes to emotions, morality, and human experiences. These things require nuance. Now let's talk about the formal operational stage, which usually begins around age 12 and continues into adulthood. This stage is all about the ability to think abstractly, consider hypothetical situations, and engage in more complex strategic thinking. While this stage allows for growth, not everyone fully develops the ability to think in these ways, and that can lead to challenges later in life. An adult who struggles with abstract thinking may have a difficult time envisioning different career paths. For example, imagine someone who's been stuck in the same job for years, unable to see beyond their current situation. They might be unhappy in their role but can't imagine what other opportunities could exist for them, nor can they plan for a future that's different from the present. They may avoid long-term goals, reacting to circumstances instead of thinking strategically about how they can shape their future. This tendency to struggle with imagining alternative futures is a sign of an underdeveloped formal operational mindset. Consider the character of Walter White from Breaking Bad. Early on in the series, Walter is a high school chemistry teacher turned methamphetamine producer. While his intelligence is undeniable, his thinking often falls short of strategic long-term planning required for his actions to succeed without disastrous consequences. Sure, in the beginning, he was stuck in his life as a high school teacher and car wash employee. But then, when he moves past that, when he becomes a methamphetamine producer, he's initially caught up in reactive decisions, working with his partner Jesse and expanding his drug business without fully considering the larger implications, both on his family and his soul. He's stuck in a mindset that struggles to imagine outcomes beyond immediate gains or threats. As the series progresses, Walter's thinking does evolve, but it's often shaped by crisis rather than foresight. When things start to spiral out of control, Walter has to begin thinking more abstractly, pondering future consequences and possible alternative plans. But his growth is gradual, and it often comes too late to reverse the damage caused by his earlier lack of self-reflection and strategic planning. His journey shows how an adult can struggle to think beyond the immediate moment, especially when they've never fully integrated the ability to think abstractly about their future. Understanding Piaget's stages of cognitive development shows us why some of us might get stuck in certain patterns of thinking that limit our growth. Whether it's impulsive reactions, difficulty seeing other perspectives, or rigid thinking, these stages offer a roadmap for personal evolution. The good news is, no matter where you're feeling stuck, you can evolve past it. Begin by integrating mindfulness into your daily routine. Take time to sit quietly, meditate, 
and observe your thoughts without judgment. Journaling is another powerful tool that can help you reflect on your experiences and deepen your self-awareness. By embracing practices like this, you can challenge old assumptions, cultivate empathy, and become more open to complexity. Start to envision long-term possibilities, not just immediate outcomes, and allow yourself to see the bigger picture. Growth is about more than intelligence. It's about expanding your awareness, being present in the moment, and cultivating a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you, which is part of your extended self. So make room for these practices in your life and watch as you break free from old patterns and step into a more conscious, intentional way of living. And on this channel, we cover various topics on ways that you can help elevate your own consciousness, moving past these barriers that are limiting your growth in life. So make sure you subscribe to watch the next video in the series of lines of development and check out this video here to learn more about topics related to psychology, spirituality, and how the world affects you. Thanks for watching.